With the collapse of the oil embargo to force Iran into a confrontation over the Straits of Hormuz, the US and Israel are looking for another way to get the long-sought war with Iran started, and more to the point, need to make it look like Iran is starting hostilities in order to make it politically and more difficult for Russia and China to support Iran. Now, recall that Israel has a past history of attacking US warships and framing others to trick the US into attacks on Israel's enemies, with the Israeli attack on the USS Liberty, initially blamed on Egypt, as the most well-known example. The attack on the Liberty went on for hour after hour after hour. During the entire attack, the USS Liberty continually called the 6th Fleet that was nearby, begging for air support or rescue. Two aircraft carriers in the Med responded by launching fighter aircraft. Unbelievably, they were recalled by the White House. Rear Admiral Geist, then commanding the carriers in the 6th Fleet, called Washington personally to confirm the recall order. Secretary of Defense McNamara came on the line, and then President Johnson himself told Geis, I want that goddamn ship going to the bottom. No help. Recall the wings. Imagine being Admiral Geis, begging the President to allow you to defend an American ship that's under attack, and being told by him that he wants the ship going to the bottom. So here we have the USS Enterprise, the oldest carrier in the fleet, on her last legs, scheduled to be decommissioned next year. Her name is well known in part because of the Star Trek TV series. Decommissioning a nuclear aircraft carrier is a very expensive process. USS Enterprise is powered by eight nuclear reactors, all of which must be disposed of as nuclear waste material along with all the associated machinery. The US Navy would save a great deal of money, more than the scrap worth of the steel, if USS Enterprise were to be sunk in the Persian Gulf where the radioactive mess is someone else's problem to deal with. So why send an ancient warship at the end of a useful life into harm's way? The same reason Franklin Roosevelt moved a bunch of obsolete warships from San Diego to Pearl Harbor, while the newer carriers and warships were well away from Hawaii on December 7, 1941. Israel has three dolphin submarines, given to her by Germany. They have been seen transiting the Suez Canal in the past, and could well be operating in the Gulf of Oman, even the Persian Gulf by now, lying in wait for a used up and obsolete warship, more useful as a sacrificial lamb than an actual weapon, a ship with American sailors to be attacked as Israel attacked the USS Liberty, then to be blamed on the designated target, Iran, by a compliant media.